Are you hitting it down? Are you hitting it up? The ball flight tells you a lot. Yeah, yeah, nice ball. Less spin, more consistent fly. It's just got a pull hook with indicators on. Where's the danger? Right's a big carry. Leaves a more difficult shot. Oh, oh that is a penetrate. Oh. Let the golf do the talking. <laughs> right, guys, so I've got my new driver. It's time to test it out. Got the team here, Seb, Craig and George. And we've got a bit of a gallery over there. You all right, guys? They're all here for me, by come the way. Come on, fans, come on, fans. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> And we've got a bit professional this evening. We've got Charlie, who's just had a two-day session with me, ex-Sky Sports cameraman, so we've got to be on our best behaviour, so we're expecting some good camera skills, so <laughs> he's not going to miss a trick. We're going to play tonight a fun challenge. The team are going to take me on. So normally I'd have no chance, but I've got the new driver. So let's see how it goes. We're going to play three holes. Uh, better ball. It's off scratch, guys. Yeah, yeah. you're not, you're not, you're not want any shots at all. So, uh, <laughs> Well, these guys aren't getting shot. That's <laughs> so uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'm up against it, but wish me the best. And let's crack on. We're going to see if we can shape it off the right. Oh, I pulled it. Got the right shape on it. Pulled it. Just didn't start it at that right. Is it right oh, though? It's quite up there. Still birdie from there. Mm, pulled it. Oh, ooh. we're in. Marcus has got a big old <laughs> smile on his face <laughs> if you can't see it. That's it's just got a pull down. hook with indicators on. <laughs> this is where you need to give me moral support. <laughs> not... How many Sammy Gallo have been involved in this pack? Only one. <laughs> I'm the guy that's been playing 10 months, by the way. So if I bomb this, this is awesome. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the same shot as Marcus. Big tree in the distance. Yeah. yeah, yeah, nice ball. Well done, Craig. I'm to watch his ball flight. He's so happy with it. Oh, I don't need to watch that. What did you say? Was it even a blind squirrel flying on acorn? Marcus is well in play um, and can easily make birdie from where he is, so we need a good one. Craig's just hit a good one, but we need two good ones. So I'm going down the right and trying to bring it back as well. As you can see, I've missed the fairway a little bit left. Call it a bit thin. However, a bit too much shape, but. <laughs> It's alright, it's short of the green. A bit short of the green. Just getting a feel for the strike I want here. I'm kind of simulating the release I want from that lie. Just here I can feel the contact with the ground. Slightly pushed, yeah, it's got good shape on it. That's a nine. So I should have probably changed my club when I got over the ball. I felt like I got too much club to be honest, so I ended up shortening it, playing like a three quarter swing. It just shows you how you can adapt in the moment, really. About 150, says on here, and looking at the 150 yard markers just over there, so that's about right. I'm going to play a bit of a draw with a nine iron. Let's see how it goes. Just pulled it. Almost a green in rag. Oh, okay. We need to hit it. We need to really be going past the pin. We've all finished kind of short, just short of the flag, so it's leaving ourselves a tricky pin. So trying to always try and get pin high, particularly with a short pin, at least or past the pin. Go a 
I think that's lucky. A, yeah, I think that's a good shot. Yeah. yeah. Just didn't didn't run on, but yeah. It, I mean, it landed where I wanted to. I just, just didn't check on. There's a lot of undulations here. It kind of levels off near the green, similar to Craig's. Carry the undulations onto a more level ground. It's uphill, so I can be fairly aggressive. Be more be more positive with it. If I play a 60, knock it down a bit. We've got a bit of spin control. Try and get a bit of grab on that fringe, and then just let it check up to the hole, hopefully. So the idea is good. Sounds easy. Um, just like that. So kind of played it how I intended there. Lower fly, bit of check, just rolled up the hill. And it's put a bit of pressure on the boys now. Back marker out of the way. Oh, that is so bad. So George has let us in because uh, now the boys are under the cosh. They've got to make a four. They know I'm close to the flag. And uh, now Craig's under a bit of pressure. Go on then, Craig, look at it. Sorry, gents, I've got it. Good pop. Marcus, oh, that's five. It was given anyway, Marcus. Don't worry about <laughs> it. It was given anyway. Yeah, what are you on about? Yeah, great part, great part. <laughs> hey, you've got to be hold, haven't they? <laughs> Doug Sanders missed the two footer for the open. Hole number 12, this is our second, par five. Slight dog leg left to right. We're gonna play off the back, it's about 500. It's all about your tee shot this hole. And then staying left gives you an opportunity. So the bailout area is left. So this is what you wanna be looking for. Where is, where's the danger? Right's a big carry, leaves a more difficult shot. Ideally down the left, even if we don't get it right. It's a bigger landing area and we've got an opportunity then with our second shot, even if we're not going for the green, to put ourselves into position for the third shot to the green. So it's all about thinking ahead. It's a chess game really. And you're thinking, where do you wanna be with your next shot? Where's the biggest landing area? Put the percentages in your, in your favour and then just commit and put your best ring on it. Right, second shot with this bad boy. Anything to be learnt from the first shot, Marcus? Yeah, a bit short, just upper body. Didn't really get the lower body working. So, good sequence, really. So, just got to commit. Just and play a bit of a draw. Oh, let me hit another. I'll play that. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I might you're be not losing the driver. You're not getting your little cut today, are you, Seb? Go on then, Craig. Nice swing again, mate. Oh, oh mate. So watch it down. Just a slight. Yeah, that was my face wide open. Oh yeah, you've certainly got some draw on it. <laughs> Me and you then, Mark. Sound effects. Play well, Seb. <laughs> so it's in between clubs, pins at the back, top tier. What yardage did you say it was? About two, about, about two, three, five. Two, right, three, five. Yeah. It's a three wood to get to the back. It's a big carry over the tree, so I'm going to try and just go left of the green. That's the area to go for, left edge of the green. Big tree in the background. I'm trying to look up, really. Always look up, keep your eye line above the trees if possible. We're looking at the apex of the ball flight and trying to fade it off that to the green. So we'll see what we do. Ball's above my feet. Strike. Just didn't cut, did it? So I'm really happy to be fair. Struck it well, good flight. Cut a little bit, but not enough. Started it just left side of the hump, but it's probably pin eye, so I've got a chip and the pin's on the right, so I've got all the green to work with, so it puts us in a good position. It's all right. Fine. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Well done. Right. Ian, you and a chip off there, Marcus. So always be aware of the lie. Read the lies. Just consider how it's going to affect the ball flight, and then make your make the uh, necessary adjustments. So, Seb, short left. Marcus, long left. Just us two in the hole, I think. So, gonna have a bit of, bit of a chipping competition, I reckon. Get 
Cheeseball Mocker. <laughs> I can't believe you said that without a smile with a serious face. Uh, golf, is, golf is my life. When I'm fully aware of that. When you're one down, it's a very serious game. Golf life. That was a nice part, Seb. Oh, Seb. <laughs> well, that was after the Lord Mayor's show, wasn't it? I thought... <laughs> Should we go? You could hear a pin drop, it's like the crucible. <laughs> what was the big that? build up. Yes. Well, well done, Seb. Good stuff. Gentleman's five. Well done, Marcus. Well done. It was given anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Blue collar five. <laughs> so we've got par five, um, 500 yards off the backs. Slightly moving round to the left. Stepping on this one, Mark. It's a one. Sure, you, can't, you can't lose can't the lose. match, so you, you may lose. as well. Well, we've got, we've got to have a winner somehow. Chipping challenge or something. Oh, oh he leaves it to the last hole. It's about time you actually hit a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Quick roll. Got away with it. Nice. Yeah, nice drive. Yeah, well not. done. Come and see your right. latest big hold off, push court. Cool. <laughs> Whoa! Got in his head! Yeah. Exactly what you said, get left. It's fine. I'm reading like a book. I think it's looking pretty good when I get just to the guy playing the shot yeah. off the tee box. I mean, it might not be, but... Get down. I think that's fine, to be fair. Yeah, it's got long enough to be. Right, we'll bomb this one and probably hook it. Oh, oh that, that is a penetrate. Oh, oh George! That, that was a Johnny Riser, that one. We were just saying that might look nice on a shot tracer, starting low and rising up. But essentially, I've hit that with a very low launch, high spin. It's going to take a lot of distance off it. It looks nice, but functionally, probably not the best yeah. shot to be here. Yeah, the low spinner, so George was coming in a bit steep, de lofting it, and then spinning it up, so. It's a bit of breeze as well, so it just kind of holds it up and just cross distance basically. But also, if there's a lot of wind, if it's crosswinds, it starts to take it off, and then you've got all the things to contend with. So, less spin, more consistent fly. Just in reference to those ball flights, so George is kind of, there's a it's about 40, 50 yards in it. Don't like to talk about it, but um, that's why you literally <laughs> asked the camera to get turned on to talk so, about. So uh, basically, <laughs> it's only down to ball flight. So that ball flight was rising, just cost so much distance. Normally, if that ball flight would have been kind of more optimal, higher launch, lower spin, it'd have been up there with me. So it's kind of, it's it's really down to the flight. So getting fitted for your driver is really important. But then understanding your impact conditions. So understanding how are you delivering that club to the ball. Are you hitting it down? Are you hitting it up? The ball flight tells you a lot. So be, be really kind of aware of what the ball's doing in the air, the launch. Is it launching high or is it launching low? And is it continuing to rise or is it continuing on its flight? So that's kind of, if it's continuing on its flight, it's kind of lower spin. If it's launching, if it's starting to rise, it's got a high spin rate. And then the initial launch is important too. So play around. Nowadays, these drivers have got so many different um, options. Play around with the options and that's uh, what you should be doing on the driving range that's using your time the best way on the range to fine tune your equipment I don't, you, I, don't, I don't like to talk about it but marcus did catch a down slope and got about 60 yards to run on it <laughs> oh, oh it's done the same thing again <laughs> into the shizer Head to head, me and George now. Uh, Seb's pretty close, so I want to 
try and put a bit of pressure on. Slightly different pitch shot now in comparison to the others. Uh, a lot more green to work with. So I'm going to flight it lower. This is the plan to flight it lower. Use the momentum, get a low ball flight, get the ball running, use the contour of the green. Downward strike, it's going to get the ball launching low. And it's a it's more of a chip and it's more of a long chip and run really. It's a pitch and run. So weight more on the left side. Hands forward. Just making sure we're getting the sweet spot down to the ball so it's just a more of a find that finish. Have a little practice swing back and through to that finish. And then it's going to help you commit. Great shot. Nice strike. Oh. More odds of me three whacking than you all in it. <laughs> Give you that one. <laughs> Five, seven. Lol. So this just to nail in the coffin. It was given anyway, Marcus. Don't worry. <laughs> well done. Well played. Well Good birdie, Marcus. Well done. Two up. Three, three. Well done. Well Cheers. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a zoom in on that face. Let the golf do the talking. <laughs> What about the Snickers? You're going to go double equipped? Two up over three, so I thought, feeling sorry for him, I'm going to give him a chance to win the money back. You've got to always let someone win the money back, haven't you? Double or nothing. Loser gets the round in. Loser gets the round in, yeah. Perfect. Okay, right. so. Seb's getting them in. Seb's just, ex I think you've just explained the whole one, yeah. Risk and reward hole. So it's two, uh, two, seven, two, par four. Ideally, really, the play is a layup, um, but in the situation of double equipped, it's uh, driver as hard as you can. It's YouTube. YouTube, YouTube game situation. Oh my god. Yeah, great shot, Mark. That is stunning. Well done, Craig. Oh, you oh, hit it lovely. Oh, <laughs> Proper out of that. Oh. oh, good. Can you hit me another way? We're on in one, we've got a chance for an eagle, it's a rare opportunity. So we look a bit more globally first, find the low point, that's going to give us an idea now of where that ball is going to roll to. So seeing the entry in the hole, into the hole, and now just starting to feel the stroke. So a couple of right-handed swings just to feel that momentum, the swing length, the speed, just getting a feel for that release really. We don't hold the wrist still in putting, we're going to let them just, we're just going to soften them off a little bit. Use the weight to the putt ahead. So, not too bad. Difficult, really, to commit to go that high, especially when the greens are slow, because it could hold up there, and you don't want a downhill putt for the next putt. So, if the greens are a bit slower, with a long distance putt like this, I want the second putt to be uphill, not downhill. So. I heard on the, on the safe side, really, but I've got an uphill port, so we're still in the game. Great. Oh! oh! Hit the flag! Covid oh, rules, if it no hits one, the flag. Seb, no one likes to see that. <laughs> <laughs> he says with a massive smile on his face. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that broke right. It was a great tee shot, he really deserved it, it's unlucky. So, hard to go pay out. Mate, to be fair, you play some good golf. Draw, well draw, draw, no win. Well done, well done, well done, well done, boys. Well yeah, well played, mate. Great. Well done, Craig. Well done. Well done. Well done, boys. A friendly half. Got to keep it friendly, haven't you? I don't, to be fair, I don't mind. You've made two birdies for There's life in the old dog, yeah, I tell you. Can't argue with that.